Today I'm going to show you how to put together the In My Heart box. It's actually quite simple. Um, first we're going to piece together the uh, little heart fronts. This is the front of the box. Putting this little border piece around the heart. It'll fit perfectly. You just kind of have to fit it in there. And we'll do the same with the other one as well. So all we're going to do is piece together these panels and the handle and then we'll proceed to um, attach them to the box itself. Again, I kind of reach in there. That one didn't work very well. If it doesn't happen, just grab it, start over. Reach in and just make sure it's uh, matched up. Now there's holes in there because I wanted this box to be able to see either you want to put clear acetate or vellum. Um, clear acetate would be good if you wanted to see what was inside the box. Um, or vellum would be good if uh, you want to obscure it. It's just a different kind of look. Or you could put a, a pattern paper. But vellum would be good. You could also make it into a little uh, tea light holder. A valentine tea light holder. So you just attach that piece to the back. There's a second one where you just uh, add glue around that heart. This is the inside of the panel. So that won't be seen once it's put on the box. Then we're going to uh, piece together the handle pieces. Put the panel on the handle piece. So I'm just kind of rubbing it around to cur curl it both pieces and just pre-curling it a little bit before I attach it because we'll want it to curve a little bit when we put it on the box or attach it to the ed ends of the box. So go ahead and center that. One thing just make sure you have a little glue whether you have to just kind of rub it to the edges uh, to the actual ends, little ends. I didn't put enough glue there originally on this one and I had to re-glue one of the the end tips. Then I'm just rubbing the whole thing together so I can get it kind of curled. The next uh, we'll just fold on the scores as shown for the box and then I'm just going to show you on at least one panel. I just kind of go around and just add glue around it. I'm not very uh, precise or anything <laughs> just so it doesn't leak out. Just be careful with that. And then you just match it up to the the panel and you want to make sure that uh, you can't see it's matched up the holes are matched up for the holes on the box that's all you really have to check if you had a solid panel on there it wouldn't really matter but you want to match it up as best you can anyways so here's the second one again I kind of uh, hold my fingers up there to line them up before I press down and the reason we're putting the panels on first is it's just easier to apply pressure, I think. And then this one just centers. The other ones are uh, the full panel. There's no border around it, uh, but these are, uh, they have a slight border around them, or edge, I should say. They're, they're offset a little bit. So now we're going to put together the actual box. So you want to glue that bottom piece to the bottom of the box. And you want to line up that edge of the bottom bottom edge to the tab fold. Make sure they're flush and just apply pressure. And then we'll add glue on to these, this side tab. And you want to glue it underneath because we don't want to see it on the outside. Just match up that edge to the tab fold. And just lightly apply pressure first and then you can flip over and, uh, once you know it's aligned. And apply pressure. And we'll pre repeat that on the other side. Again, adding that, uh, you want to flip in that, that long tab too. I forgot to tell you that. It's easier to flip it in before you attach that bottom tab. And then apply pressure from within. And again, we're going to add glue to that final tab. And this basically, once you have this glued, um, that's the, the base of the box. Well, all we'll have to do is add the handle piece. That's it. 
So you could glue this on outside or you could glue it on inside. Um, it's up to you how you want to attach it or you can attach it with brads, which is what I'm going to do. Um, but also the little hearts that were cut out from the white box, I decided to use them. I don't like to, to waste much of anything. So I just added some double-sided foam tape to these hearts and just add them to the side. You don't need to. I just don't like to waste it. So that's that's what, what was cut out from the uh, front of the box when we cut the actual box piece out. So now we're going to add the handle. Like I said, I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want to place it. I'm going to use this little button. It was like a button brad. It's hard to see. But I'm just trying to decide how far down to go. So I couldn't go through all both of them, so I'm going to put the hole in the box first. I have this uh, hole puncher that uh, punches a very small hole. It's not a traditional. I can't remember what the size is. I'd have to look it up. And then I kind of go down. I, was, I had to eye it how far down I want to go to put the brad in, but not too far down. And match it on the other side. If you haven't used brads, um, I love them. The reason I like them on things with handles is that they'll rotate. Um, if you don't have brads, it's not the simplest thing to find anymore. It's not something that I bought on Amazon. I, I bought these years ago. I'm not even quite sure where I got these particular brads, but I love brads. You could just do a search on your favorite craft website. And then you can't see very much, but I'm just kind of pulling it back. So I'm just showing you the process of putting the brads on. You can add embellishments or anything else to the front, and that'll complete the box. Thank you for watching.